look at another um, unit of measure used to express concentration. Let's look at the moality uh, unit. Moality is a good unit for reporting concentration because its value is not temperature dependent, like the molar concentration is. The, um, and this is because the unit is reported in units of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, a mass unit, as opposed to a volume unit. Um, when the temperature changes, the mass is not going to change. However, the volume will change. That's why the density varies with temperature. So to factor that out, sometimes it's necessary to um, report the concentration units in moality. It's a less common unit, but sometimes it's very necessary to use. So let's take a few minutes and look at a, uh, work through a, an example of calculating a molal concentration. Here's one. Calculate the molality of zinc chloride in a solution prepared by dissolving 4.11 grams of zinc chloride in 150 grams of water. We'll approach this problem in a similar fashion that we did for the molarity problem, okay, for the molality problem. We're going to start with what's given to us, which is a concentration. It's an amount of zinc chloride in an amount of water. It's just not in the units that we'd like, but that's a good starting place. So the, the units that are given uh, right here are 4.11 grams of zinc chloride dissolved in 150 grams of water. That's our solvent, okay? Um, the mo moal units are moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, okay? So we're in units of grams and grams. We need to convert the zinc chloride unit to moles and the water unit to kilograms. All right, that's easy enough. Anytime we're given a pure substance, uh, a mass, we can convert to the number of moles simply using the molar mass, which I am going to calculate off the periodic table. The molar mass for zinc chloride is 136.4 grams of zinc chloride per one mole of zinc chloride. Okay, so of course I'm, I'm putting the gram unit on the bottom of my calculation because I want to convert to moles, so I'm going to cancel that gram unit. And now I just need to convert my grams of water to kilograms of water. And um, that's easy enough to do with my metric conversions. There's 1,000 grams of water per one kilogram of water. I, of course, memorized those metric prefixes. And um, so the gram of water cancels. And now I just need to do the math. I have the proper units, moles of my solute per kilograms of solvent, not solution. And I can uh, multiply 4.11 times 1,000 divided by 150 divided by 136.4 divided by 1. And that equals um, a molal concentration of 0 0.20 moles of zinc chloride per kilogram of water, which I would shorthand express as 0.2 lowercase m, which stands for molal. Now here I've got the same questions that I had in the previous video. What is the molality of the zinc ion? Well, if you look at your formula um, in zinc chloride, for every one formula unit of zinc chloride, I have one zinc ion. So the uh, molal concentration of zinc is going to be the same as what I calculated for the formula unit. Because think again, when I put this in solution, now this time, when I put the zinc chloride into the solution, I have a zinc ion floating around, and for every one zinc ion floating around, I'm going to end up with two chloride anions floating around, okay? Zinc, chloride, they're all freely floating around, or hydrated really by the water, but moving around in solution. So what is the molality of chloride ion? In this case, for every one formula unit, I have two chloride ions, so the um, conversion uh, from formula unit to chloride ion is going to be double, so it's actually 0 0.40 moal if I'm looking at individually the chloride anions. And then if I ask the question, what's the concentration units of molality for the total number of ions, then for every one formula unit, I'm going to end up with one, two, three ions in solution. So if I was reporting out the concentration of the individual ions, the sum of them, then that concentration would be 0.6 moal. Okay, so again, this is how a chemist thinks about it. We report it normally 
in units of the formula unit of the substance or the uh, the molecular formula of the substance. In this case, they're formula units because they're ion, ionic compounds. So of course, we always report it out like this. But if it dissolves completely, the as uh, the concentration is 0 0.20 mol. That's how we report it. But this is how the chemist thinks about that. I can separate that thought 0.2 mol into individual zinc ions, chloride ions, or the sum total of ions. Okay?